everyone, welcome to my channel Acrotech. I have started this channel with aiming to provide some information, some knowledge and some ideas related with agricultural science, as well as some information and knowledge about some other applied science in biology. So I hope my channel will be helpful for some of the students who are undertaking their graduate and undergraduate program in agricultural science as well as in some other applied science in biology such as biotechnology. So I would like to request you all to like and share my channel. Please do not forget to like and share my channel if you find my channel is interesting, relevant and useful for you. And I also would like to request you all to subscribe my channel. Please, please, please do subscribe my channel so you will be informed first if there is any content available in my channel. So stay connected, stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe, please. And I also appreciate your constructive feedback and suggestion. So I hope you will give me constructive feedback and suggestion on the comment section below. Today. I am going to give you some information about biotechnology. What is biotechnology? I will be covering the definition, history, fields and some of the area of the application where we can apply biotechnology. Now I would like to go with biotechnology, the definition, what is biotechnology? Isn't it sound so complex, the word biotechnology? Yes, it sounds so complex. However, it's too easy to understand. Yes, it's too easy to understand. Biotechnology, as I mentioned, is the applied science in biology, which use the living cells, such as plant cells, animal cells, or any other cells, or any living system. And in combination with some other biological tools and techniques such as polymerase chain reaction, recombinant DNA technology, some gene editing tool, it will give us some product or some methods which will be helpful for human, plant and animal. This is so simple, this is just a definition of biotechnology. Use living system, living cells in combination with some tools and techniques, it will give us some product or some methods which will be helpful for upgrading life quality of human, plant, animal, even earth. Isn't it so simple? Biotechnology is a profound and um, well, uh, well sophisticated science. It is area of science uh, which is so advanced. Um, there are many doors open for the many people. You can enter, you can do something else, you can create something else for us. So the important, um, important science in the world, so sophisticated science in the world has its own history. So it's, it is important to understand about how it developed. So now I would like to go with history and I would like to divide history with three main phases. First is ancient phase of biotechnology, which is um, before 1800 AD and classic phase of biotechnology, which is in between 1800 and 1945 and modern phase of biotechnology, uh, which is after Second World War, that is 1945 to till now. And ancient biotechnology, which had developed after human civilization went to agriculture era. Um, I would like to give the term for the ancient biotechnology as era of discovery or era of invention as ancient people were trying different methods, different procedure or different tools and techniques so that they can preserve food and they can make it um, portable while they were moving from one place to another place. So in this way, they have developed, they have um, discovered many procedures, many items um, uh, in biotechnology. So, um, ancient peoples, they were using different uh, product, like they have used enzyme rennet. This rennet enzyme is available, can found on stomach of calves. They use this enzyme to make sour milk, do you know? Peoples were so advanced at that time as well. They have made cheese, 
they have made cheese and this is the first ever product made through biotechnology process and it made at ancient time do you know the ancient peoples were so advanced they have discovered product first ever product making through biotechnology not even cheese they also have used yeast to ferment beer as well at that time so i would like to call this era is an era of invention and discoveries where they have discovered many um, procedure and many product using biotechnology and if we study these developments in ancient era um, we can say like these inventions these um, uh, discoveries they were based on the close observation with nature yes and if we move to classic his classic phase of um, biotechnology where hungarian scientist the carlo irke coined the term biotechnology at 19 in 1919 and this uh, this is uh, i found the classical phase of biotechnology is more advanced than the ancient but it was more uh, like focus with cellular components where robert brown discovered the nucleus on cell and at this time the biology war first appeared you know so i would like to say the classic phase of biotechnology were more focused on cellular component and if you would like to go with modern i mean after second world war there were many like discoveries and many um, inventions happened after um, second world war so and biotechnology was one of them at this time like genetic engineering was first come to head you know at that time the development of uh, dna model watson and crick model for this first discovered and they have used the recombinant dna technology this is the one of the most recent and most powerful most um, uh, strong and what what we can most sophisticated technology identified so far you know and if we come from the ancient to classic and classic to modern the classic one was profound with um, cellular component where modern one was more profound with the dna dna component where they have identified the recombinant dna technology dna models and if we go with the recent advancement more recent advancement using the uh, gene editing tools some recombinant dna technology many scientists have already been success to identify some antibodies some vaccines against malaria some influenza vaccines some uh, vaccines against flu and we all are now suffering as we know this is the covid-19 crisis time many of the peoples are struggling um like they are struggling to get rid of this virus however scientists are still working hard to find vaccine against covid-19 so if they would able to success then it will be the one of the revolutionary like uh, discoveries uh, from the biotechnology so isn't the biotechnology is so interesting so fast so sophisticated and it is cool science as well i would like to say it's cool i found uh, one of the blog which is relevant to the history it has the detail timeline uh, including at what time what happened um i i'm giving the link of the blog in the description below so you can find the blog and you can find the more information there there are different fields of biotechnology it can apply in different sector sectors such as medicine some industries and environment and agriculture as well so i would like to cover some of the fields in today's video um uh, it can uh, utilize in medical biotechnology the medical biotechnology is one of the field of biotechnology where um many antibiotics vaccines antibodies are making through and another one is agricultural biotechnology where many resistant 
like biotic and abiotic stress res, resistant crops and plants um, are developing and some of them have developed already and another one is industrial biotechnology um, uh, it can um, like biotechnology can be utilized or can um, used in many industries including brewer brewery interesting like fermenting beers and making yogurt cheese like in dairy industry as well these are the most common fields of biotechnology where biotechnology is commonly being used and one of the successful area of biotechnology there are some other uh, like um, the fields like environmental biotechnology where the biotechnology tools and methods are approaching to make the eco-friendly um, eco-friendly product as well now the applications of biotechnology biotechnology have wide range of its application in different section different sector of science as well as in environment as well however i'm going to talk some of the most common and most successful area of applications only uh, first i would like to go with agriculture and food this is one of the most successful area of the application of biotechnology where many products many techniques many tools have already been developed but i'm going to give you some successful examples of it first is uh, first is golden rice do you know um, the peoples the south asian peoples they are heavily depending on rice as a main staple food source from breakfast to dinner uh, yes, rice also has nutrient. It is highly rich with carbohydrate and energy source. However, it doesn't have any vitamins with it. So, scientists have developed rice varieties, which um, they have when they have incorporated uh, the beta carotene and they made rice heavily uh, like highly rich with vitamin A. So, the uh, this rice definitely will be helpful for most of the population who are depending with rice do you know um, to re remove or to eradicate to eliminate vitamin e deficiency vitamin a deficiency in that population not only to the south asia will be helpful to uh, eliminate vitamin a deficiency in the population where they are heavily depending on the rice as a main food source as I also remember, government of Nepal had campaign to remove, to eradicate vitamin A deficiency and providing capsules to the, all of the kids who are under age of 5 years. But if we have this kind of rice, we don't need to have vitamin A capsule supplements, isn't it? Yeah. Now another one, another one like the successful, successfully developed another cultivar is Bt cotton. Do you know this cotton has incorporation of microorganism this is called bacillus thuringiensis where bt stands for bacillus thuringiensis and this cotton is highly resistant with ballworm infestation so it's already released already commercialized farmers have no worry about the infestation of ballworm so they are happily growing cottons another one is environment you know the petroleum fuels we using once it get combust combust actually combust or once combustion happens it will emit many of the harmful gases such as carbon dioxide carbon monoxide nitrous oxide which are highly detrimental to the environment however using biotechnology scientists have successfully developed one of the fuel this is called biofuels which is made from corn and scientists made it combustible so it doesn't have any side effect to the environment it doesn't emit any harmful gases so cool isn't it i would like to thank for like scientists who developed this kind of fuels now yeah it's our time to explore biofuels instead petroleum fuels Another one is making strength fiber, you know, the spider waves. DNA spider makes make yeah waves to live there as a home. And these waves have high tensional force. Do you know the tensional force is more than steel? So strong. So the spider waves are getting attention 
to the scientists so they are thinking to make more strong fiber from it and they are planning to make strong clothes like bulletproof jacket um, in this way scientists have identified that gene in spider that can make waves spider waves and threads and they have isolated it from the spider and it they incorporated it to the goat and they made milk it's called silk milk these are one of the most common area of the application however it also successfully applied in medicine i have already mentioned scientists have already developed dozens of antibiotics dozens of vaccines they have recently developed malaria vaccines influenza vaccines some flu and cold vaccines and we already know this is corona infestation time corona infection time so scientists are working hard to identify vaccine against covid-19 and if they would success then i have mentioned already it would be the another revolutionary application of biotechnology to come back with one of the pandemic in the globe and will help people to save their lives biotechnology is so cool so amazing science so i would like to um like suggest you all to explore from your side biotechnology has wide open ranges of application wide open ranges of doors you can enter you can do something else you can create something else and you can like help to upgrade people's life ultimately so explore biotechnology and finally this month is about today's session and this is the end of the video uh, i would like to say you all to thank you for watching my video till the end and this is my first video i would like to like um, i would like to improve myself from the next video and will give you more information more and more information on upcoming videos so stay tuned stay connected and i also already mentioned this is covid-19 crisis so stay home stay protected stay healthy and take care of your proper hygiene stay home but do not forget to like and share my channel please do subscribe and do not follow to give me suggestions thank you